Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rentway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 17th, 2023. Well, this morning we have an interesting mix of data coming in. We're going to have um, um, a bigger day of earnings reports. We've got several economic reports that can move us pretty substantially here this morning. We have Asian markets overnight. They were green across the board and largely based on the bullishness that we saw in the U.S. market yesterday. European markets, however, are mostly lower right now, but pretty moderate in their gains and losses. And then we have oil this morning. Oil trying to move just a little bit higher but relatively flat oil and gas both trying to move up just a little tiny bit and unfortunately we have bonds moving to the upside bond yields moving to the upside again adding additional pressures to the market so far this morning i'm recording this pretty early it's 5 30 this morning um, in Central Time, 6.30 Eastern Time, and I have um, only J&J &J has reported at the moment, and according to the headline, J&J &J is beat on um, its earnings, and you can see trying to pop here in the pre-market to the upside. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we dig into these charts a little bit and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. But just a quick reminder before we do that, tomorrow, or this evening, not tomorrow, this evening at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be doing a free public webinar to anyone um, who might be interested in coming over. All you've got to do is go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website at the top, at the top of the page. Once you come onto the website, there is a button for our free um, uh, trading room, our free webinar room. Just click that button, come on in, no password required. Love to have you there tonight. I'm going to be talking about simplifying your trading and show you some things that could maybe um, help you um, improve your trading results um, overall. So that is tonight and um, want to see as many people there as possible. Hope uh, you all can come. Let's take a look at these charts. Now, what we've got going here yesterday was really kind of remarkable. Uh, considering the fact that we had little to no data driving the market up yesterday, but we just wanted to get some buying going, I guess, and the diamonds surged to the upside. We ran up here and came very close to this big resistance level in the chart and then ended up backing away just slightly, heading into the close of the day. And as you can see this morning, we've got a little bit of bearishness coming in, but that may change with all the earnings and economic data here uh, going on. So first off, right now we've got this little upside trend going on in here. And if the bulls can continue to find inspiration in today's data to push higher, well, you'll notice we could push right back up here into that resistance level of the chart and breaking through there could take us right back up into here and maybe test that downtrend here in the diamond. So uh, we'll see if they've got enough energy to do that. And unfortunately, the there was a, a really lack of momentum in um, the other indexes yesterday while the diamonds was just surging. Kind of an interesting, um, interesting thing going on there. Now, if we take a look, um, if the bears were to find inspiration, you can see pushing back a little bit here in the pre-market, but once again, that may change pretty dramatically with the data coming out. That possibility that we could slip below this area here, below that little support support area and maybe start moving back down and testing some of these price areas right in here would be um, a likely place if we were to um, fail um, this little price support area in the chart. And it's not a strong price support area. Um, now, 
Um, notice right in here, we also have a 200-day moving average. That 200-day moving average could serve as support as well. So if we can hold on to that 200-day, that's a good sign. If we were to slip back below, notice that we're kind of coming back here to the 500-day moving average to maybe try and pick up a little bit of price support um, overall. 50-day moving average still seems a bit out of reach considering the fact that we have that strong resistance level up here unless we can break through that and then work to test that downtrend then we can maybe test that 50-day moving average. Let's take a look at our um, SPY SPY struggled just a little bit yesterday uh, although it was a very very bullish reversal from friday but we struggled against the price resistance here in the chart as you can see that strong price resistance up here we struggled against that was not able to get through there and that makes the fifth day in a row five days in a row where we've struggled with that price resistance um, and we've popped several times trying to make a gap up in the morning um, try to make that uh, move happen and just fail to get through this morning we've got a little bit of bearishness uh, coming in as you can see but with all the data that could easily change let's take a look here if the bulls can find inspiration here and finally break that resistance that would be a huge break in here and might really bring in some strong buying into the SPY so watch that carefully notice that there's not really too many um, price levels right through this area of the chart we're either here or we move all the way up to there so I would watch for that possibility that if we break here that we could push up pretty strongly here in the market testing this resistance and this downtrend here in the SPY over the next couple of days keeping in mind that that a little higher low in there has made that upside trend happen so we may have another day of rest or two here before we um, get that energy to push on through but well, keep a close eye on it and if the bears were to find inspiration today and failing um, this area up here again well we'd look for a retest of this price support and see if that can hold if that cannot hold there is a little tiny level right in here um, that we might be able to catch you can see we've got these highs right here and that low right there we might pull back into that area if this area fails to test that support and then beyond there obviously we're coming down into here let's take a look at our moving averages on this you can see we're testing um, our 34 EMA we continue to try and bounce through it and bounce through it and we're just not able to get much through um, that resistance area in the chart but if we can that 50-day moving average could easily provide that next area of price resistance and that would be that in-between point that we were talking about there had there's not much price action in here on that in-between area maybe that 50-day moving average would be that in-between area to provide us a little bit of resistance before we come on up and hit that downtrend let's take a look at our qqq now our qqq also nice rally yesterday but once again kind of an inside day was not able to push back up here and test um, those previous um, highs in the NASDAQ but we'll want to watch that closely because we know the power of big tech if they can get some kind of bullishness here it may be a little bit strained today if those bond yields continue to move up this morning but we'll want to watch that close and if they do push on up then we're looking at these levels right up here notice we've got one two three four five candles right there that um, struggled with that little resistance area in the chart and if we can push through that we're probably up here testing this downtrend in this major resistance level in the chart breaking through here could be really substantial so watch carefully for that if the bears find inspiration today then i would look for that break of this little support area and it's not a strong support area it wouldn't be hard to break break that little support area maybe we're coming back down here and we're testing these lower candles notice we had these big down candles that bounced so we'll want to watch those areas in here to see if that would hold and if that doesn't 
probably coming down here to this more substantial price support level in the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM just really wasn't all that energetic yesterday. Um, it did bounce off of this low, which gives us that hope that we've created a double bottom here and maybe create some kind of a W formation here in the chart and get those small caps moving. But unfortunately, the effort was so lackluster yesterday that um, I'm not really sure that is the case. The good news is maybe a, a little tiny bit that we broke that little downtrend here yesterday. We're trying to see if we can hold it this morning with this little pushback. If the bulls, however, can continue to find um, upside inspiration, let's just look for a uh, test of this resistance area right in here and see if we can um, deal with that. If um, we are able to push through there, perhaps we go just a little bit higher and, and test that recent high in IWM. If the bears were to find inspiration, however, today, you can see it really wouldn't be that big of a trip right back down here to test the support area. And if that support area were to fail, you'll notice we've got a few tails right down here that we can test, but that's about it. And if that fails, we're coming probably down here to these lows um, in um, 2022 to test that area in IWM. This is by far the weakest of the indexes and not showing any signs yet of really strengthening. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX did pull back yesterday which uh, with the bullishness in the market but you want to note that it did not break this upside trend. So although we did pull back and we were um, feeling really happy in the Dow, not the other indexes just you know not so much and there is a little bit of area right in here that we could find a little bit of price support with the bearishness we're seeing in the pre-market here um, that possibility that we could bounce off of here if those bears get active i also think there's that possibility that we could end up just resting in this area for a little bit uh, depending on how the data comes out resting in here out to this trend to see if whether we're going to make that decision to go up or down now if we see those bulls continue to engage i would look for that retest down in here to see if we can test that trend maybe even this price support here in the chart if the bulls can engage today let's take a look at our t2122 now this was kind of surprising the way the market moved yesterday but t2122 um, really moved up substantially and at one point in time we were up here past uh, you know the 70 percent area in t2122 now remember this is just a four week new high new low ratio it does not tell us which way the market is going to go what it does do is it shows us those um, relief points those places when we're, where we get overbought or oversold so if we look up in here that would be overbought down in here oversold where we're at right now in the market means that if the bulls can find inspiration, then there certainly is room to the upside here that we could pop up into that overbought area. So we've got room to go up here if the data is good. If the data um, inspires those bears, however, we've also opened a pretty good opportunity to move to the downside. So watch carefully on that today. Our T2108, uh, um, did move up yesterday and that was nice to see you can see we've got a little bit of a, a hint of an inverted head and shoulders pattern in here but unfortunately it just wasn't enough to get a whole lot of excitement going on we did by the end of the day manage to get up there 30 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average and that certainly is a nice improvement from the 15 percent that we were a few days ago um, we have broken this downtrend which is also a good sign trying to hold in here but you do want to notice that we're going to need some kind of significant momentum that we have really been lacking on the buy side here to see if we can push up through some of these other levels of price resistance in the chart so it's an improvement are we out of the woods yet maybe not let's take a look at our t2107 t2107 
rallied yesterday and that was nice but you can see how the uh, this was just really overall unimpressed yesterday so kind of a weird day of price action if you ask me and as you can see here we still haven't broke that downtrend we've got all of these resistance levels in the chart above still so we're going to need something special in the data and perhaps we get that data today to really inspire and move things along here in the market we'll see we've got about 35 percent of our stocks above the 200 day moving average so there's work here to do yet here's the thing that was a little bit concerning to me as we were rallying yesterday we've talked about this we need to see the breadth expanding we need to see that momentum really rolling in to the market when those buyers coming in and it didn't happen um, as a matter of fact, our breadth yesterday in the market declined pretty sharply. So it's going to be really hard for us to maintain any upside move if we can't find that momentum of buyers. And that's one of the things that we're struggling with right now in this blackout period with about 98% of all stocks in their blackout period. They're unable to buy their own stock. They're unable to talk things up and that is hurting us in that momentum now toward the end of the week we're going to have some of those companies starting to come out from under that but we'll want to watch that closely right now if we continue to see this um, attempt to stretch to the upside without momentum that is really sketchy where we can get that really quick reversal if data happens to uh, come in and not so great so watch that close let's take a look at a few stocks uh, first let's take a look at our economic calendar but um, i also want to make mention that bac has all also reported here this morning apparently beating estimates in a bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern but we're not getting much love here in the pre-market on that report so um, watch that close we're still in a downtrend here on BAC um, uh, came in better than expected but apparently not the, all that impressive let's take a look at uh, that economic calendar our economic calendar has got a few things that we're definitely going to want to be paying attention to first off we've got williams out here speaking this morning we've got a parade of, of fed speakers this week we've got william bauman barkin and then later at the end of the day we've got kashkari speaking from the federal reserve we have the two big data points this morning retail sales and unfortunately they're expecting by consensus retail sales to decline um, not dramatically but showing that weakness of the consumer so we'll want to watch that carefully if that happens to miss and the consumer is weaker than expected that could have a negative impact on the market we're also looking at industrial production declining as well with even capacity utilization according to the consensus moving slightly lower so just be um, kind of cautious on that later on at 10 a.m eastern we've got business inventories and housing market index both of those are important but likely not going to be the market movers that um, the others are today they're expecting business inventories to tick a little bit higher that means businesses aren't selling as much their inventories are growing watch that and housing market index is looking to stay flat so uh, just kind of keep an eye on those data points no bond auctions here today we haven't seen that for a while and we'll be thinking about housing starts petroleum status and another very big day of fed yakking 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 out there they just got a lot to say um, um, this week with Jerome Powell he'll be speaking um, on Thursday so kind of keep all that in mind as we move forward let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today in our earnings calendar we are, we're starting to pick up on those earnings numbers so what I want to remind you all of I'm, I'll, I'll go through these really quickly this morning um, to show them but what you'll need to start doing is making sure that you find that link that'll be just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notables so make sure um, because as we start building the number of earnings here I will not be able to cover them all we've got ACI coming in here today watch that one we've already talked about BAC reporting 
Um, so keep an eye on that one. Today we're going to hear from uh, BK, Bank of New York. It looks like maybe they've already reported trying to pop higher here from the Bank of New York. Watch that one. Um, FULT is something we want to be paying attention here today. It's also reporting. We talked about Johnson Johnson reporting. That's already pulling back just a little bit. Apparently as we're going into the conference call, not quite so much excitement on it. We're going to hear from Goldman Sachs this morning. Keep an eye on that. We've got HWC, HWC reporting today. We've got IBKR, International Brokers. Watch that one. JBHT, one of our transports. Watch that one carefully. It's been trying to be bullish. Um, JB Hunt could be very, very important today. Um, LMT will also be reporting. This had a big shot higher um, in that um, uh, beginning of the Israeli oil or Israeli war. Watch that closely as it approaches that downtrend and that earnings report to see if it can push through. PNFP will be reporting today. Uh, keep an eye on that. PLD, UAL. And last but not least, WTFC will be reporting today. So um, several market moving um, reports in here to be paying attention to. Watch them closely. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also clicking that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. I appreciate it a bunch. And remember, even an emoji counts. Um, so if you uh, just drop an emoji in there that helps show the engagement with the channel and helps the channel to continue to grow so thank you so much there are a lot of people who watch the video that don't comment but uh, and i understand it but everyone who does i i do truly appreciate it let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you have got to do your own due diligence and probably understand the fact that this market could be very, very volatile with significant whipsaws possible as these data points push the market around. So be prepared and be careful. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas and make sure you're following your personal risk tolerances and rules in trading. First off, let's take a look at CRM. CRM had a pretty good day yesterday as you can see we've got this little higher low here in the chart and although we still have quite a little bit of price resistance in here to deal with there is some upside opportunity that may be coming in here if that can punch on through so watch that carefully to see if CRM completes this pattern out here out to uh, this little higher low see if that can push on through obviously tech has been very strong in that opportunity that that could uh, continue to move up in that chart let's take a look at amd amd had quite a downtrend struggle here with this downtrend channel but notice what we've done here on amd we broke through that resistance area in the chart we're pulling back to hold it as a higher low and if you look right across here we have a little upside trend so i would be watching this carefully if we can get bullishness moving in the market amd is certainly one of those in a nice potential buy point watch that carefully if that pops through to the upside might just get something going there on that um, intel continues to be um, one of those charts to be watching here as you can see intel pushing up banging its head against this resistance and we just can't seem to get through there yesterday we tried several times to break through that level just can't quite get enough energy but with this upside trend underway there still is that opportunity that that could move on through you want to be paying attention to these earnings reports um, uh, all that anticipation of earnings can sometimes push a stock 
right through those levels. Take a look at um, WBA. Now, WBA, although their earnings weren't all that impressive, we saw a nice move to the upside here in WBA. This is trying to come out of a major bottom, and we're starting to build a nice structure here in the chart. As long as we can hold this price support after this pullback, Look for that maybe in that next opportunity to find that inspiration for the bulls to push on higher. Keep a close eye on that one. Um, you might want to take a look at some of the pay systems out there. Visa um, struggled hard here, really sold off strong. If the consumers are strong, and we're going to find those numbers today um, in those retail sales, watch that carefully here, breaking through that resistance, any resting pullback in here could continue to push that to the upside. Keep an eye on that. It's going to report on 1024. So uh, keep that in mind as well. MasterCard also trying to break through this resistance. Unfortunately, we have a pretty substantial um, head and shoulders pattern here, as you could see, that could be playing out. So this it's really going to be critical that we can find that inspiration to push through up into here. If we can break through and hold, then we may have that upside opportunity to set up a trend. Watch that closely. Also going to report on the 26th here um, in the market. Let's take a look at a few other areas. You've got to continue to keep an eye on energy. Um, energy stocks really rallying back up. There's a lot of uncertainty in this sector with the Middle Eastern problem, whether this expands or not. Right now, this morning, we've got oil just a little tiny bit higher. So watch this carefully. Any rest up here along that support area could um, bring in those bulls and push us on higher. If we break that downtrend here and hold from there, well, then we've really got some upside opportunity possibilities. And we can see it when we look at stocks like um, EQT. EQT pressing that resistance, trying to move through. APA uh, pushing on up, trying to break that downtrend here in the chart. Any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity. We've got OXY um, showing um, some pretty good signs here. Pushing hard yesterday breaking that downtrend, creating this upside trend. Keep an eye on some of these oil sector stocks. There is that possibility that we could continue to move on through higher. So watch them closely. Now, when it comes to, um, it's, it's really, really interesting what's going on in um, some of the uh, some of the insurance plays out there. Take a look at Aflac. Um, Got to get the right symbol. Um, Aflac, whoops. Got to get the right symbol. There we go. Aflac is just screaming to the upside here, moving very, very strongly here. So some of these insurance providers are looking really, really strong. I wouldn't want to chase this now at this moment. Wait for this to rest or pull back. See if we can find some support in here. See if we can maintain trend in that chart. And I would be looking for something along those lines. At the same time, um, we have um, other stocks um, in that in that sector trying to show little, little bits of bullishness, trying to push through, holding a higher low in Prudential. So watch that closely if we can get some of those insurance providers moving to the upside. Maybe the, the group can move on through. So there's a few places for you to be watching in the market today, a few things for you to be um, maybe keying in on to see whether those bulls or bears can come along. I want to wish you all a wonderful day. Be kind of careful here today. The way the market's acting, um, we're seeing um, that lack of momentum still due to the, the blackout period. So just be careful in over trading. This market could easily whipsaw. With that, have an awesome day. I wish you great profits in your trading and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. I wish you all the very, very best.